uh, four products right now. The products encompass the door. So we have a lock, a smart lock, uh, a smart doorbell that streams video. We have a, what's called a connect, and the connect provides remote connectivity, internet connectivity to a lock. And then we also have a keypad. We would say all of these things exist within a door. We sort of have a door object. And the central piece in the door is the lock. So the lock can talk to a connect, a keypad, and a doorbell. So if you have a package delivery, for instance, you can view the doorbell cam, see who's at the door, decide if you want to open it for package delivery, open the door remotely, person comes in, leaves the package, and then closes the door behind them, and the door locks automatically. All the products are surrounding the door, and a lot of the products work together. You can tell um, Alexa, unlock my lock, right? And she can, um, she can do that. We have um, a Nest Cam integration, so you could actually watch the package delivery person inside your house and then track them as they exit. We also have an activity feed, which means you could review all of that later. So you could see it live, control all the, the house access, and then you could also confirm everything later if you wanted. So a door being unlocked means you've come home. And so people can set up what are called scenes. So if they have other devices, not even August devices in their house, they can basically unlock their door, turn on their light, you know, start some device that's important to them in the house and sort of it kicks off a process. I had lunch with uh, someone I know who happens to know the CEO here is Jason Johnson and I was interviewing at other places at the time so um, I mentioned that I was interested in August because I, I like what August is doing in that space um, in the Internet of Things space and I ended up um, coming in for an interview, and it all happened pretty fast, like in under a week. It was hard. <laughs> the interview was really hard. It was an all-day, um, it was an all-day affair. I interviewed, I think, with five people, all of which were engineers. I left here with a headache. But yeah, people asked um, what I would describe as both questions, all technical, some questions related directly to what we're working on here, and some questions were more general computer science questions. Some of the best ways to recruit are more casual, that you know, formal recruiting processes tend to be a um, little bit more structured, and for startups at least, it's harder to get to know people a little bit in those um, environments. Recommendations from current employees is really sort of a, a great way to, to find new people. Probably want to be somewhat familiar with the products that the company or our company produces and maybe have at least a glancing familiarity with how they might work. You, that's a good way to prepare. You would want to familiarize yourself with um, Bluetooth protocol, right? You would want to understand that, you know, what's a characteristic, you know? It, the, like you would, you would need to understand those things in order to understand our products. It's not that we're going to drill you about that, but you would want to be familiar. Yeah, and I think that, that seems reasonable for any place you interview. You want to be familiar with what their, what their products are, and you want to be, have a basic understanding of how they operate. I, my, my general question is somewhat iOS specific. I um, usually ask candidates how many different ways you could have um, what's called a master detail relationship between two view controllers and that if you wanted to return information from the detail view controller back to the master view controller, how many different ways can you do that? And what are the pros and cons of some of the ways of doing that? Because there's a lot of ways to do that. I would say more than a half dozen ways to do that. And it's very interesting to see how many they can come up with and then to understand what the advantages or disadvantages or the use cases are for different ones of those. Our, ours is, and most legacy code is written in Objective-C, and then in the last few years, Apple came up with a new language, which is called Swift. So some things are developed in Swift now as well, but they actually compile to the same language. They compile to Objective-C. That's what I think finding the, the right place to work is about, is about being passionate about something and wanting to contribute, and that the company has the right structure to allow you to do that.
it's not about just finding a bunch of people. <laughs> and it's not about interviewing at tons of companies. It's really about being transparent about what you want as a candidate and for the company to be transparent about what it's looking for.